let's just talk about strip diagrams and equations. That sounds so scary, but it's really not. Let's think about this real world problem. So three friends have ten dogs all together. The first friend has six dogs. The second friend has two dogs. How many dogs does the third person have? Now remember, we know that they have ten all together. So ten is all together, it's the total. So we're missing a part, and that's what we're trying to find. Pictures can really help you solve problems like this. Let's draw a strip diagram. This represents all of the dogs. We know that there's 10. Okay, we know that the first friend has six dogs. The second friend has two dogs. We're trying to figure out what the third friend has. Sometimes in math, mathematicians use letters instead of numbers. It would be like a question mark or an unknown. So, since we're trying to find dogs, I'm just going to use a D today. That's a variable. It is literally just a blank. And I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find. Now, I need to think of an equation. An equation is a number sentence that helps us solve a problem. Well, I know the total, so let me try this. Six dogs plus two dogs plus I don't know how many dogs is going to equal ten. And this helps me solve the problem. So eight plus something equals ten. Well, since I'm missing a part, I can do subtraction. I can do the total minus what I already know. So 10 minus 8 is 2. So I know that D equals 2. And if I put it back into my equation, let's see if it makes sense. 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 2 more is 10. So D equals 2. Now, let's look at something else. What if I know that I have Three dogs, and my neighbor has four dogs, and I need to know how many dogs we have all together. It sounds like the total is what's missing. Let's draw a strip diagram to see. I have three, my neighbor has four, and we're trying to figure out how many all together. Hmm. I'm just going to use an N for my variable this time. And I know that 3 plus 4 will tell me how much N is. So my equation is 3 plus 4 equals N. Well, that's pretty simple. 3 plus 4 is 7. So I know that there are 7 dogs all together. And it's that simple. You know it's usually an addition problem to solve when you're missing the total. And you know it's a subtraction problem when you're missing one of the parts. At least for now, until we get into multiplication and division later.